Cam Russell called you their club's best defensive player last year. What do you learn about 200 feet of ice over in North America uh, that made you so much better this season? Yeah, it's it's good to hear because that's where I put pride on my uh, defensive game. I really want to do my defensive game first. And uh, in North America, it's or still in Europe, it doesn't matter. Uh, I think def it's always defense first. Uh, if you have a good defense, you have a good chance to win a game. The Swiss League is so good. What made you come over to the CHL? Well, it's true. Uh, I mean, Swiss League is a really good league. Uh, a lot of speed, a lot of skill. And uh, at the end, I just thought where I can get a better hockey player. And that uh, was, I really thought it's a better way when I moved to North America. And at the end, uh, I always wanted to come over to see uh, how it looks like to play a lot of games and with the traveling and all that stuff. So. Uh, I don't regret it at all, and I'm happy that I did this step. And since you played a full season, and Nolan Patrick played only 33 games, do you feel that you get an edge on him for the rest? No, well, I don't think so. I mean, Nolan Patrick is a, a first-class player. I mean, uh, nobody wants wish that what he had this year, especially in his draft year. And uh, I think he, he showed already uh, enough to the world how good he is, so uh, I don't think so. What was it like coming to North America at 17? You either lived with your aunt or your mom and dad playing hockey to come over here, experience the billet experience. For sure it was something new. Uh, I moved when I was 15 to Bern and like uh, moved away from my family, but it was not It was just an hour away, So and I could live with my aunt, so uh, I was really comfortable in Bern as well. But I, got, I had great billets in Halifax. They were awesome, and uh, I probably have my whole life contact with them, so they helped me really a lot, and uh, I'm really happy that I have such good billets. What was the biggest adjustment off the ice for you, you mentioned billets and what sort of thing? Like, not on the ice, like off, off the, the ice, yeah. I think uh, a big adjust was uh, when you don't have a car in Canada, it's hard to travel, so in Switzerland it's pretty easy to go with train or bus and stuff, so that was probably the biggest did adjust. You a, did you have a teammate drive you around? Yeah, or? for sure, I had a teammate who lived like two hours next to me, so it was easy, actually. Mac Eagle, was it nerve-wracking last night to prepare for this, or were you excited about it, or how did you feel? For sure, I was excited. I mean, uh, this week it's something special. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a great experience. I mean, you have this one in your life, so you got to enjoy it and uh, just take good things out, out of it. Any of the tests harder than you thought they would be? Sorry? Any of the tests harder than you thought they would be out there? Uh, well, I knew that the wing gate is going to be hard, and... Uh, um, yeah, it was hard for sure, and uh, yeah, I would say Wingate. A little different with the guys screaming in your face? <laughs> well, I think at that moment you hear it a little bit, but you're just focused and uh, try to give everything you can, so, but uh, it helps you and motivates you for sure. How did you think you did overall in the testing? I'm really happy about my testing. I think I did what I can, so uh, I don't have to prove anything here, but I just did what I can, and uh, I'm happy about it. Nico, how will you look back at the World Junior experience and how important it was to get you to this level and when your name will be called Friday night in Chicago? Well, the World Juniors experience was awesome. I mean, uh, it's such a great tournament, especially in two big hockey cities like Toronto and Montreal. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I had some really good friends in, in that team, in the Swiss team, so we had a lot of fun on and off the ice. And when I had so much fun, that's probably the best way I can uh, perform my best hockey. So. That's probably the reason. At age 12, you made the decision to play hockey and got away from soccer. How difficult a decision was that, given how good some family members are in playing the sport? Well, it wasn't difficult at all. I just had way more fun to step on the ice rink than go on the soccer field, and uh, it was an easy decision for me. Looking back,